Endodontics has taken a wrong path. There is a lot of confusion concerning the way to determine the working length using electronic apex locators. With this video showing the treatment of a simple routine case, I'm insisting on the way to establish the correct working length at the apical constriction using electronic apex locators. It is the mandibular first molar of a 60-year-old woman with a large composite restoration and necrotic pulp. Swelling is present on the buccal gingiva. After access preparation, the reason for pulp necrosis is evident. Curious tissue left under restorative materials. This is meticulously removed and root canal orifices prepared. With this apex locator, working length is established at the end of the blue scale. This point indicates the apical constriction, or, in its absence, the point where the instrument is leaving the canal and reaching the periodontal ligament. Contrary to what recommended by many clinicians, you don't need to go with your instrument to the zero reading point, located at the middle of the green scale, or to the pink scale. If you do so, you are in the foramen, which means you are beyond the limits of the canal, in the periodontal ligament space. If you take a radiograph with the instruments at the apical level indicated by the machine, you will see that they are slightly short of the radiographic apex, usually 1, 1.5 millimeters. This distance may vary, however. Respect the established working length. Use your instruments manually in the apical third for better control. Do frequent recapitulations with smaller instruments. Never apical patency. Calcium hydroxide medication was placed. After 10 days, the tooth is asymptomatic. Calcium hydroxide is removed and the canal filled with a pre-mixed calcium silicate cements and single cones. The post-operative radiograph confirms ideal apical level of the obturation material. All this is based on sound substantiated biological principles and not on empirical recommendations. More details on the topic can be found in PubMed, typing my name, and in my previous posts in Facebook.